Hello and welcome to another video. So in this video I wanted to look at a, a different angle from the one that I usually take on Basaglia. So people have heard me talking a lot about let's say the open door idea and how open doors are safer than locked doors and how Basaglia pushed for this. And I wanted to present you with a short video interview from a documentary uh, which uh, was um, actually basically um, filmed for Finnish television. There was a, a, fin a young, at the time a young Finnish journalist who was interested in Basalia and had uh, come to, to Italy to report on, on what was going on at the time in Gorizia. So in Gorizia, this was before Basalia went to Trieste, in Gorizia uh, there was an open door uh, experiment basically of deinstitutionalization whereby Basalia had created an open hospital an open door asylum uh, on the model of uh, Maxwell Jones in Dingleton in, in Scotland and other British experiments, but with the view to to move forward, uh, to go beyond the open door asylum and with, uh, uh, with a slightly, with a rather different meaning that was given to the therapeutic community in the asylum, which was meant to really undermine the uh, legitimacy of the institution rather than uh, making it therapeutic. So basically, um, uh, the reason why I say this is a different angle from the one I usually present is because um, in uh, this uh, interview, Basalia is uh, talking to a, a colleague. I'm not sure who the person is, the other person is in this video, to be fair. I confess my ignorance. But they're discussing what the why why the um, something that people have asked me a lot as well. Why is there a problem with an open door hospital? You know, why do you need to destroy the hospital? Is it you know, if, if the issue is open doors are safer, why not have open door hospitals? And I think that this issue uh, is also related to why you don't want, um, why, why I don't think that crisis homes in themselves are a solution. And it might apply also to Soteria houses, this uh, criticism. And I'm not saying that therefore they're wrong, but I'm saying that this is something that we need to always keep in mind when we when we advocate for change uh, in relation to rather individualized services, so buildings for a specific function. And uh, what Basalia says is that basically the function that the, the hospital has, the, lock ho the locked hospital and the open hospital, is that uh, people that, basically people that don't fit can be put in these places and don't disturb and won't disturb the, the peace of the, re of the rest of us and the mechanisms of exclusion that brought them there. Uh, and so <laughs> Vasalia says, well, to the system, the fact that the hospital is closed or open it really doesn't matter. The important thing is that it keeps people there, that that that, we, that they don't come into society. So this is important. Now, I understand that some people might say, well, okay, but at that time there was just the asylum, like there weren't community services, whereas now we have community services and... Um, and therefore, you know, if we had an open door asylum and community services, that would address that issue. But is it not uh, not necessarily? So the the issue is, uh, and this is always the challenge, that to to what extent people go in a place where they are separated from society. And to what extent the even the places where people can go to be helped, uh, that are that have beds um, for them to stay as much as op they're open, how much they're about re 
in uh, re let's say introducing the person into into a, a, a society that changes though so how do we find a space in for the person in society connections that make them feel better that don't make them that don't exclude them that give them a positive role and so not just about them themselves coping with the status quo society because what Basalia says in this interview as well is um, that the the role of the hospital is it's either to exclude or to integrate the patient back in the status quo basically and we don't want that we're wanting the person to actually be able to go back to a society that is able to question itself that is able to actually proactively try to help people not feel excluded, not be excluded. So I think this is always a challenge and we should have services that are not uh, discreetly detached from the rest of the system. That's why, like in Chess, for example, we don't have crisis homes. We have mental health centres, places with beds, but all, but also with other non-crisis activities so it's crisis services are deeply are embedded in other services although it's true that there's also the the general hospital emergency ward which i said many many times is problematic but uh yeah this is the challenge so how do we bring people into society and how do we bring so a crisis in society and how that is more therapeutic than separating people from society. Even if we create our, our soteria house that is all very pretty and uh, and welcoming, if you're welcomed in the open doors but still separated from society and the system doesn't accept that as a good option, then you're not really reintroducing the person in society. You're not reintegrating. We might be wanting to do so, but the therapeutic potential of a building is, is just much lower than the therapeutic potential of a, of a community. So um, I'll let you listen to the video, uh, but I think it's an important thing to, to keep in mind. Si parla un po' dell'apertura, un po' così come se l'apertura fosse qualcosa che potesse annullare la malattia, il che non è significato. Ha ragione, ha ragione il professore quando dice la contraddizione della scienza sta in questo. No? nell'ospedale chiuso in modo particolare il malato viene considerato una persona malata ma viene trattato come un escluso sociale cioè, cioè la scienza lo considera malato lo etichetta come schizofrenico eh, paranoico insomma quello che vuole Mistificando... li, li, li mette un'etichetta però lo, non lo tratta come una persona malata ma lo tratta come una persona da escludere, da allontanare dalla società. E allora delega lo psichiatra e dice tu sei lo scienziato, eh, invece sei il, guardiano, sei il guardiano di questa persona praticamente, non lo può dire sei il medico di questa persona. Naturalmente eh, l'apertura può essere una mistificazione perché l'apertura nel momento che non è vissuta in maniera così dialettica diventa una chiusura, perché è sempre una, una dimensione. E cioè praticamente noi mettiamo al posto della violenza che avevamo prima Mettiamo no, la tolleranza. Mettiamo la tolleranza che è anche sempre una violenza. Cioè, praticamente che noi apriamo, chiudiamo l'ospedale, il sistema non interessa assolutamente niente. L'importante è che noi come psichiatri, il malato come il malato, non, non turbiamo la quiete pubblica e non turbiamo cioè, il senso e la funzionalità di quell'istituzione che è nata per un compito solo, escludere o integrare il malato. Questo è il, è il significato dell'istituzione psichiatrica e la scienza è soltanto e solo al servizio del potere. Allora io dico, eh, che cosa serviamo noi? Noi serviamo soltanto per escludere, cioè per facilitare di, quella, il modo di ingoiare quel serpente che ci distrugge.